for the big story, GE CEO Jeff Immelt stepping down. Jim, what was your reaction? Well, look, I think that there was a lot of pressure uh, on the board that it was time. Uh, I know that GE is saying, listen, for 2013, they'd always prepared a secession, but the underperformance, and, and the last straw really was that last meeting where he just said, listen, the $2 number, uh, that's the high end. And, and there was a belief, uh, let's say among Tryon, Tryon had a big position, that uh, this wasn't going to happen, that the big cuts were going to occur, and that the $2 number was, was going to be out there. But the two things that I think doomed Jeff, uh, the first one was the negative cash flow in the first quarter, which was just kind of out of the blue. And the second one was there was great conviviality with Tryon. Now, Tryon's not big enough to be able to move the needle for GE, but there was great conviviality in a meeting that I went to with uh, Nelson Peltz and Jeff Immelt, and I've been, on, I've been with them together. And there was a kind of a big letdown that, um, that it looked like the numbers were coming through, and, and then the numbers slipped everywhere. Uh, but you have to ask yourself, would Jeff have left before the consummation uh, and then the, uh, let's say, next year or two with Baker Hughes, uh, because that combination is so, so important. So I'd say there was a lot of pressure, and, and the board felt like it had to act because the stock has been the worst performer in the Dell uh, during the period that Jeff's been in there, and that does matter. And I know the company is very adamant uh, that the dividend is safe. Uh, I think there, there are people like the Deutsche Bank analysts who are saying that is not the case. Uh, I'm looking for upgrades. I'm looking for people to cut numbers, perhaps to a buck, in a, you know, maybe well short of two bucks, but say that, that Flannery is not going to uh, let you down here. My friends who know Flannery are adamant that he's a Jack guy. He's a Jack Welch guy. And that means firing people. That means taking costs out. That means uh, reshuffling the portfolio. It does not mean breaking the company up. And GE is an actual Earth Plus name. It's an actual Earth Plus name, and we talked last week about how we wanted to sell it, but we feared that there would be a move within the next few weeks uh, to change the CEO. Um, we were prescient. I've done a lot of work behind the scenes, and I know that there were people who were uh, really saying it, it, Jeff stayed too long, 16 years. It, I think from the press conference, it did seem like Jeff felt that it was time to move on. But uh, I look for uh, the, the Baker Hughes deal. I, I, they did not cut and run when oil went down. I think that's important. I, I think the Baker Hughes deal that they're doing consummates at the end of the month. You're going to see some acquisitions done by that. Uh, remember, rig count is going up. Uh, GE has both offshore and onshore. Onshore is very good right now. Uh, we own Schlumberger for Action Alerts, and they're more offshore, and they have not done as well uh, as Baker Hughes. Remember, Baker Hughes was going to merge with Halbert, and that fell apart, so Baker Hughes merging with GE. It will be very interesting to see what Bornstein, who's uh, vice chairman now, did not get the top job. I know Tryon really liked him. When I speak with Tryon, Tryon would not talk today, but when I've spoken to Tryon, if you remember, we had Ed Garden last week at our corporate governance. Ed, Ed Garden is key man in Tryon with Nelson Peltz. I know that when I asked him about GE, it was like, whoa, you know, uh, kind of not happy. So that's a lot of my insight comes from the fact that we did have Ed at the corporate governance conference, which was really a fabulous conference. And I know that you, you, you cringed when, uh, people cringed when I mentioned uh, Imhel at the uh, conference because Ed was just total no comment. A and then, you know, obviously uh, no comment meaning real unhappy.